Don't require your serving lights, no it exists. Law requires the exercise of your right to insist. The law requires no one to submit. The law requires no one to obey. The law does not rule is judged over anyone, but everyone accepts the law as norm. Norm is normal, and normal is norm. The law is not the constitution, the constitution establishes no law. The constitution is an agreement. The constitution is the contract. The constitution says government can't do this and government can't do that. Go back and read the constitution, people. The Constitution doesn't say you can't do anything The Constitution doesn't say you are prohibited The Constitution says government can't do So when the government does what the Constitution says it cannot do And that's what government is guilty of People never understood this because of the propaganda When something is unconstitutional It's a violation of the agreement When you violate an agreement That's called a breach of contract The Civil Rights Act of 1866 Made it against the law for government officials To violate your rights As to violate your secure rights Is to violate the contract The contract known as the Constitution Did not provide any rights to you No could it Because that's not the way it was designed The Constitution was the delegation of authority Setting forth the limits For which the government could operate The Constitution does not require you to cooperate The Constitution does not require you to submit or obey The Constitution only requires you to respect To treat others that way So that you receive the same treatment in kind The Constitution secures the right to the sovereign over your interests It says to be secure, but not just any security In your property, and your possessions in your homes And even in your papers, first and be secure in their papers Your papers are your evidence, your papers are your proof Your papers are yours, you hear show me your papers In modern times they say show me your ID And they use it as evidence against you There is no law, there is no requirement Nothing on this fact the statute says you must identify yourself You shouldn't be afraid to do that You just have to give your name You have to remember if your address comes With the zip code that's not yours The zip code shows that it's a possession of government Go look it up It is copywritten by the US military The abbreviation for addresses by USPS